Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys. Peep Game. This is your boy, Town Biz. All right, man. So check this out. All right. So, um, you know, Tommy Fury uh, tells what happened and why there was delays in him signing the contract. Of course, Jake Paul went on social media, basically um, saying that, you know, dude is acting like he's scared and all this kind of stuff. First of all, um, I want to retract a little bit what I said about uh, Tommy Fury. So, you know, at the end of the day, this is what uh, doing real media is about retracting some of the statements. And basically, Tommy Fury said what took him so long to sign a contract is that, of course, Jake Paul didn't tell us. Uh, he left that out. Jake Paul basically was hesitant to sign up for random drug testing. And it appears that uh, Tommy Fury got Jake Paul to basically agreed to random drug testing so they will be random drug testing going into this fight um i was gonna try to see could i get somebody to go down to the press conference that's gonna be held this uh this wednesday in uh madison square garden but unfortunately i couldn't find somebody to cover that for me but uh nevertheless i'm gonna try to cover this fight you know it's going down august the 6th at madison square garden uh in new york city of course, and this will be via Showtime pay-per-view. So Tommy Fury gives his side of the story, and that's pretty much what he was saying. That's the only reason why he said that it took him so long to sign his end of the contract. He said he signed his uh, end of the contract, and he said they officially have a fight, and he's guaranteed, well, that's what he's saying. He says he guarantees to fuck Jake Paul up. So we'll see. This is your boy, Town Biz. I'm out.